had a hypothesis and you all confirmed it for me. We like the idea of baking often, but we rarely do so. Most Indian kitchens do not need a separate microwave oven, a separate OTG and a separate air fryer. Overall, it turns out not only to be more expensive, but also takes up valuable countertop space. A multi-purpose appliance like a convection microwave oven will be the best for majority of households. Now that you've decided a multi-purpose convection oven is the right appliance for you, let's discuss the things to consider when buying one. The first thing to consider is the size of the convection microwave oven. Convection microwave ovens come in a max size of 32 to 33 liters. In general, less than 25 liters is ideal for families of 1 to 3 people, 25 to 30 liters for 3 to 4 people and above 30 liters for large families or if you cook in large quantities often. The most popular size for convection microwave ovens is 28 liters and that and larger sizes is what I will focus on today. What do these sizes really mean? While it is the volume within the cavity, a good way to understand it is in a 28 litre convection microwave oven, the turntable is between 310 and 320 mm. So a 12 inch pizza can be easily made. In a 32 litre convection microwave oven, the turntable is between 340 and 345 mm. So a 13 inch pizza can be made easily. Now speaking about the cavity, most convection microwave ovens come with a stainless steel cavity these days. These are known to be more energy efficient and also heat food faster. But there have been some complaints about rusting after long term use. They are also a little bit more difficult to clean compared to the alternative, which is a ceramic cavity, which is easier to clean and corrosion resistant, which means no rusting. These days, only Samsung microwave convection ovens highlighted on the screen come with a ceramic cavity. A key trend these days is that larger convection microwave ovens of sizes 32 liters and above are giving an oven-like look and feel, with the door hinging at the bottom rather than on the side. LG charcoal convection microwave oven has both a left hinge and a bottom hinge model, while the Samsung 32 liters and the Godrej 33 liter convection microwave oven are both bottom hinged. All convection microwave ovens compared perform the basic functions of heating, cooking, baking, grilling, defrosting. Toasting is generally not great in a convection microwave oven. All of these models have hundreds of auto cook functions with different menus for different items. I believe this is one of the least used capability of a convection microwave oven and we should not give too much heed to the number of auto cook menus that are available. The main differences in convection microwave ovens are a few key capabilities that you have to keep in mind. The first is the rotisserie. The rotisserie works by slowly turning the food which allows it to cook evenly on all sides. Particularly useful if you are cooking meat so that it retains the natural juices and flavours. It can also be used to cook vegetables, paneer, soya and other vegetarian dishes to get a crisp golden brown outer layer of the food like a barbecue. Amongst the convection microwave ovens compared, the LG Charcoal, the Hayer model, Morphe Richards, IFB, Godrej convection microwave ovens have a rotisserie function with an auto 360 degree rotation. Next is air frying. Now different brands call it differently. Low oil, slim fry, diet fry, healthy fry amongst other names. Except for the IFB model shown on the screen, all other convection microwave ovens compared have this setting. Like I've mentioned previously many times, air frying is essentially baking, which a convection microwave oven does very well anyway. Even if there is no explicit setting for air frying like the IFB model, just follow the time and temperature setting in the recipe you're following and you're good. Do you want to see this in action? How food cooks in an air fryer compared to a convection microwave oven? I've linked to a video in the description where I demo this. Next is curd setting and fermentation to make things like dosa and idli batter. Again, all convection microwave ovens can do this, but the models that are listed here have a button or a setting to do that explicitly, so you don't have to go looking for the right recipe. All convection microwave ovens also offer a child lock capability to prevent opening of the oven when it is in operation. They also do have a steam clean capability to clean the insides of the oven. You can do a steam clean without this as well. Just heat some water with lemon in the microwave for about 3 minutes and wipe the insides down. 
it pretty much gives the same effect. Now power consumption varies based on the setting that you are using. Microwave for heating uses the maximum power approximately about 1400 watts. Grilling and baking uses the least at about 1000 watts. Some convection microwave ovens use almost up to 2000 to 2400 watts input power. But output power is generally con consistent 800 to 900 watts across various models. Higher the output wattage, a faster and more even cooking you will get. Except for the Amazon Basics model which has an output wattage of 800 watt, all others are at 900 watts. From a pricing and warranty point of view, it varies between 10 to 12k to almost 25,000 for the largest sizes. LG has a charcoal variant which is said to give better even heating which is more expensive than the other models and is the most expensive one. Warranty in general is one year with Morphe Richards offering a two year warranty on the product. Many models offer additional warranty of two to five years on the magnetron which is the component inside the microwave oven generating the microwaves. Samsung and Morphe Richards don't give an additional warranty on the magnetron but Samsung does give an additional 10 year warranty on the ceramic cavity. Let's get into my recommendations for the best convection microwave ovens in India. I'll give you two recommendations in the 28 litre category where you can make pizzas up to 12 inches diameter and two in the 32 litre category where you can make pizzas up to 13 inches diameter. My product recommendations are consistent in the 28 and 32 litre categories. If you're looking for a rotisserie, in the 28 litre category, I recommend the LG charcoal convection microwave oven as it is the only model in this size that has a rotisserie. And in the 32 litre, I recommend the LG convection microwave oven without charcoal. Charcoal lightning heater is expected to maintain natural flavors, keeps the food crunchy outside and juicy on the inside, especially when it is used for barbecue. It is a nice to have in my opinion, but not a must have. The 28 litre with charcoal is available at about 18,000 and the 32 litre without charcoal is available at a price of about 17,000. LG gives a one year warranty on the product with four additional years warranty on the magnetron for their convection microwave ovens. The cavity is made of stainless steel and it has all the capabilities that we discussed including a 360 degree motorized rotisserie, fermentation, making curd, air frying and steam cleaning. The maximum temperature in the convection microwave ovens can go up to 230 degree centigrade as per many reviews online. If you don't need a rotisserie, then I recommend the Samsung convection microwave oven you see on the screen. These Samsung microwave ovens have a ceramic cavity and hence are available at a budget price of about 12,500 for the 28 litre and 17,000 for the 32 litre. Samsung offers a one year warranty on the product with 10 years on the ceramic cavity for their convection microwave ovens. Except for the rotisserie. These Samsung convection microwave ovens have all of the other essential capabilities like heating, cooking, defrosting, baking, grilling, toasting, low oil or no oil cooking, fermentation, making curd and steam cleaning. The heating temperature in convection mode can vary between 40 and 200 degrees centigrade. The 32 liter Samsung convection oven has a bottom hinge door. If you are looking for an OTG instead, you might want to watch this video next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.